What's going on everyone? So I don't know about you, but lately I've been having an itch to play a certain table. Sometimes it's a certain game or a pinball game, but for me it's this table, the Kraken's Cove. The last time I played it was on the Slot Shots pinball collection. Um, and basically the last time I did a video for it. But lately I've been enjoying uh, all the new tables and their updated tables on Slot Shots Ultimate Edition here. And one thing I want to say, first of all, that octopus looks really cool. It reminds me of the alien from, uh, uh, what's that movie called with Will Smith? Independence Day. Kind of looks like that. That's what I get from it. But anyway, so Pimblin Studios, in the uh, when you play this game and it loads up, uh, he provided some little tidbits and facts about pinball, about this game. And so I was reading it while waiting for this table to load, and it was talking about uh, a mode called Midnight Madness. Um, and it's an actual mode that is basically only um, triggered at midnight on some select Williams tables. So uh, tables like Congo, Dirty Harry, Johnny Mnemonic, Junkyard, Who Done It, NBA Fast Break. And so these tables, when you when the clock strikes twelve and you play, uh, it's a, it's a midnight madness mode where different lighting effects will happen, different scoring systems. I don't know too much about it, but I have to, I just thought that was a pretty neat fact that it's actually a thing. And so some uh, places that have uh, the midnight midnight madness mode will actually change the clock in the. Uh, in the pinball machine timer itself to just trigger the event so I didn't realize how cool that was I wonder if it's a thing in on the versions on pinball effects like if I were to play like you know a table that had it like junkyard at 12 midnight would it count <clears throat> well either way let's go here with the Kraken's Cove love this big octopus like I said he reminds me of the alien I also love the slots the slots mechanic it's just an awesome way to basically see, take your chances at some luck, right? Um, and so let's go here. I love the seaweed on the pot bumpers. Love that seaweed. Love the golden rails as well. Look at the little treasure chest, different colors, the red, and of course the ship. Reminds me of uh, the ship in. Um, Pirates of the Car Caribbean from uh, Stern. So let's go here. Enough talking. So let's see. Start. Okay, so let me actually turn down. This table is a little loud. But look here, the slot out, the slot payment payout. 10 million for uh, is the highest you can get. And the lowest is around 50,000. So let's go. Oh man. Skill shot, so we gotta hit that left ramp. So I like right away, there we go, we got the skill shot. I like right away how easy it is to read the skill shot. Because, you know, a lot of times newer players to tables will not know what the skill shot is, usually if they haven't read the rules or they just wanna play. But at least you see it here, lit in yellow. Which is how most pinball tables will usually be. You know, they want to sh show the player, okay, where's the skill shot? I love the way it comes down there. Little rail. Oh, I love the sound of those pop bumpers. if we can spin the slots somehow. And the fire too, the fire, the torches. But yeah, I've just been meaning to play this table for so long. Like I just thought about it, I was thinking about it, I'm like I'm like, I just gotta play it. Okay, so 
Skill shot there, left ramp still. There we go. Wonder if I can go up this tiny middle ramp here with the X's? Oh man, I should have nudged. This table so far seems to be on the little on the more difficult side of the tables I've played so far. Okay, I'm gonna spin here. No slot win. But difficult doesn't always mean like uh, necessarily bad, right? It's just more challenging. There, there's always going to be tables, even on Williams pinball tables, right? Williams had hard tables and easier ones. But even in real life, pinball tables that play relatively easy uh, digitally are not always as easy. So like Attack from Mars is a good example. A lot of people like find it easy on the digital form, but on light, in real life, the real table, it's actually not that easy. Oh, nice. Okay, it's gonna pop out of here. Oh no, it's gonna come out there. Oh! Okay, so let's look a little barrel there. Is that a. What does that say under the S? Oh no. Looking for an extra ball. If I can get one. Wait, what does that say? Oh no! Oh man. Let's see, oh my gosh, 54. Let's see, I got 2 million. Let's let's go again. I gotta go again. That was a warm-up game, the first one. Wait, SNL, okay, yeah. If I can beat two million, that'll be great. Okay, we gotta spin. Oh, let's go, let's go, right there. So you see right there, that spin just put me over the, my previous score with just a single spin. Oh, that was awesome. That was, that was awesome, that was worth it. That spin was worth, I believe I beat my previous score with just that spin. And that that's why this game, that's why I like this mechanic, the slots a lot. And then you can see when it comes out of the cannon, which uh, ship's cannon is going to come out from. There's going to be a little light there before the ball actually comes out. I love the double spinners. So usually too, when I play tables like that are like water themed. Or a pirate theme, they're usually like upbeat, right? Like ocean's ocean breeze on this game is very upbeat. This one's a little like you know darker, right? But still kind of generally like a water theme, and I like that, you know. Oh man, I'm just so like happy that I got that those three scrolls for three million there because that alone just beat my 
and that's exactly why I like it. And some people may hate it because, you know, pinball is sometimes just luck, right? Oh no, got some. Ooh. And I noticed about this game too is the physics are really good, but they're gonna they're gonna really um, you're gonna really have to take into account. I think with all pinball, but momentum, you know, slowing the ball down with the flippers, knowing when to expect where to expect the ball to come from, so that you can catch it. We got, a, we got a chest here, treasure chest, a bonus. You see it? Let's go. What did I get? I know I beat my previous score, and that's what matters. Oh, man. Maybe we can get another spin, actually. That'd be awesome. There, maybe a small ramp. Oh no, I knew that was going to happen. Whew. So, it's probably going to have a cooldown for this view rank, but I have uploaded it and I know I beat my previous score, so I'm happy about that. So thank you guys for helping me play The Kraken's Cove on Slot Shots Ultimate Edition. Highly recommend it. And yeah, I'll be finishing with all the tables eventually. I think I have the older tables videos for, but I just want to do them for the new ones, for this updated version as well. So until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Take care. Thanks for watching.